hey guys, Kevin here. Canon cartridge is getting more and more expensive. Let me show you a way that you can just get some ink, refill it without buying a new Canon cartridge. I have to tell you that uh, the, each cartridge has a, has a chip. And uh, to properly refill it, you have to reset the chip or you have to have uh, something to set the ink level to zero so to get a full tank of ink. The two to reset to reset it called a resetter. And uh, if you don't want a resetter, and uh, try to get an ARC chip. However, um, I'm going to show you a method that it doesn't require any resetter or any uh, ARC chips. Uh, this trick works for 280, 281 cartridges. The trade-off is the printer always complaining it's going to be low on toner or ink. So if you can tolerate that little annoying message, and uh, you can print forever. And you can save hundreds or thousands of dollars, and uh, you only buy ink from now on, no more cartridges. Uh, here's the cartridge status you normally see. The BK, the black, is showing the have half a tank. The second situation is the, like the yellow color. You see a yellow exclamation mark. It means low on ink. And the third situation is like the other three colors, which has a red cross over it. The printer will stop working when you get a red cross. For example, if we print more uh, yellow, it will push it to the red region, and you can, you're going to get uh, this error window. Oh, by the way, we haven't refilled anything yet. Uh, I'm just showing you we use the startup cartridge. We just keep using it until we get this support code uh, 1600 or 16 something coming up. Uh, same way, if you get a regular Canon cartridge or XL, whatever version it is, just keep using it until you see this. Actually, Canon gave you the answer for the first magic button, which is I, I tell you to click OK on the printer. Uh, the printer should stop in the middle of printing, but if we click OK, it will go back to printing. Uh, Canon will let you print about 50 to 100 pages and, uh, uh, before it eventually stops you. And when that happens, you have another magic button that will, I'm going to show you. However, right now, just uh, notice the yellow. Uh, the icon next to yellow becomes red after we click OK. You can see it prints perfectly. It's like your car. Uh, when your gas light is on, uh, you probably can still drive like 20, 30 miles before it actually completely out of gas. Uh, you're supposed to refill cartridge right now, but uh, let's print a couple pages, see how much it can print. Uh, now let me show you how to add in. Uh, it's actually simple. You don't have any, you don't need any tools. Uh, just open it up. Uh, we use KT600 from uh, BCH Technologies. Uh, you can go to BCH Technologies, go to Ink for Printers, and uh, uh, we use uh, old dye ink. And this is this is one we used. Uh, you get uh, two black cartridges. One is a PGI 280. That's the bigger cartridge. That one's supposed to use a pigment ink. However, uh, we find if you use dye ink, it makes the print that last longer. So we use dye ink. Uh, if you want to keep using pigment ink, you can go to uh, Ink for Printers again, go to Pigment and Dye Ink. And this uh, 2P uh, two P means uh, 2 pigment black. So you're going to use those 2 pigment black for your bigger cartridge, PGI 280. And then it has a regular uh, dye black. And that, that is for your uh, CLI 281 uh, little black cartridge. Uh, say this is the big uh, pigment cartridge I'm talking about. Um, because we're going to use all that ink, so we're going to use uh, the black on both large and small black cartridges. So I take the yellow one out. And the only thing you need to do is just, uh, just drop the ink on it. You can see once you drop the ink, it gets soaked right away. So you just... Uh, you don't need to even need to squeeze it. You just touch it. The sponge will suck the ink from the bottle. 
if you ever feed a baby, uh, you know what I'm talking about. So the cartridge starve of the ink. So you just feed, feed it. Okay, now you can see, now get slower, get in. Okay, and uh, you can stop right here once it's uh, slower. Um, or you can, if you oversaturate it, uh, it's gonna flow out anyway, so you waste the ink. So you can see, it takes like a second to soak it in. So that, that's about right. Uh, the key is to not overfill it. If you flip over, the sponge should be able to hold the ink without any ink flowing out. If you get too much, just uh, use a paper towel to soak up the excessive ink. Close the printer and we're done. Uh, the computer will now now know you added the ink, so it will still show the yellow is out of ink. Uh, every time you print, I will say the printer is low on ink or low on toner. Uh, just that just a way it reminds you how much money you saved. Oh, don't go away yet. Here's uh, the second stop. Now the message changed. Uh, the Canon doesn't tell you to click OK button. It do doesn't tell you any 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 uh, button to click. It just tell you the printer detect ink out condition. I just give a quick flashback. This is the one that we can click OK. See, it, it light up the OK and uh, it actually asking to click OK. And this time, say it doesn't give you that OK button. So what you do is you hold down the stop button, which is a upside down triangle, and just hold down to it until the message goes away. Like magic. So what this does is turn off your ink monitor completely. The printer will not track ink level anymore. You can just print freely ever, ever, ever after. So after you click the second magic button, now it's your job to keep track of uh, how much ink you used. Um, what I suggest to do is uh, take a ream of paper and divide in half, and write yourself a note uh, to refill every half ream of paper. Uh, when you refill, you refill every single cartridge in the printer. If you want to be more quantitative, uh, you can get a digital scale like this. It's about $10 on eBay. A 281 cartridge, the little cartridge, the empty weight is 13.27 grams. And the maximum take is 17.56 grams. The big black, the empty weight is 20.68 grams. And the maximum maximum weight is 32.94 grams. Uh, just so you know, not every cartridge can take this much. And I see this only filled to 32 grams and it was already leaking from the bottom. Oh, don't forget that match button. Uh, this video, we went over how to use two Canon's magic buttons to disable the ink monitor to let you print forever. And uh, we went through the, some basic reviews Next video, I'm going to show you how to refill less and print more. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.